Hey everyone, uh, this is just part two of the um, fiberglassing video that I put up yesterday and uh, just a continuation of it. Uh, so, just kind of had to leave it there as is, but I think everyone gets the idea on it. It was more of an experiment just to see what would happen with those active balancers if one of the cells went bad and... Uh, Honestly, it scares the hell out of me to think that that one blew up with such a little variation on the discharge, uh, on the um, unbalancedness of it. Because it really wasn't ridiculously unbalanced. It's probably the equivalent of one cell going bad. Alright, so right now what I'm noticing is that, or what I'm trying to do, is just fill in the parts that are lower, try to even them out, my god, I'm only kidding, this stuff is ridiculously sticky, probably shouldn't expect it there. Just try to build it up inside where it's low, make it all even. Really gotta work fast with this because I can tell it's already starting to set. Ah. So right now I'm at about three. Oh, you guys are watching, you know. I think it's three layers, four layers. Oh, so tomorrow I'm going to be going down to my shop and getting the, uh, getting the motor mount done on the quad. I'm going to bench test the motor after I do that. I probably should have done it in reverse, but I think the worst case scenario is I will just get a new motor, the same one, if that one doesn't work. But I'm gonna stick to my own advice and just stick with the original plan I had and get stick with that one motor. I'm gonna build the battery pack probably on Sunday. Hook up the EMS BMS, show you guys it's all Bluetooth enabled. This thing is incredible. Um, it's called an EMS Mini. I don't know if anyone's ever used it before. Uh, it's been on the market for a while, but it just came to the United States not too long ago. Um, personally, I like it better than the Orions or any of the other ones out there. It's uh, more user-friendly, I think. It's easy to hook up. It's got the temperature sensors. As far as cost-effectiveness, I think it's one of the most cost-effective ones for what you're getting. Um, when you're spending as much on some of these projects for your batteries as you do, I mean, even if you're salvaging them, uh, your time is worth money. It's worth putting the money into a good BMS. Um, first, that's just my personal opinion. I was really hoping these active balancers worked better than they did. Um, But, for this here, I don't know if I said it yet, but I'm picking up a motor or the whole drive system for a jet ski, and this is going to end up being a jet boat. Um, so, 
So, it's going to have a ridiculous jet powered motor in it. And with the jet powered motor, I'll be able to take it in super shallow water. I just ordered the batteries. I have uh, lithium ion pouches coming that are 40 amp hours. Um, new brand that I've never tried before, but I figure why not give them a try. Put out 100 and some amps per cell. I'm going to go about 200 amp hours if that doesn't get me that far. I have 72 volts and 200 amp hours. So, we'll see how far that gets me. If that doesn't get me a couple hours of running time, then I'll probably double it. Oh god, it's so hard to tell. if this is low or not. But once again, I'm guessing that if it's not, I will just be sanding like crazy. All right, little tip, don't fold it over on itself, like I just did, and try to separate it, yeah, try and take a shortcut, never do that. Why well, is get a ton of air bubbles? So I'm trying to separate the strand now into one piece. That is what I cool. That's not that problem. So, we bought these rollers from Amazon. I'm assuming you just roll the air bolts out. Not even sure if I need to do this, but. Pushes everything in. Just ease into that. I'm not sure. But, oh, there's a giant air bubble. There Push 
have it now. Go to the excess. Make sure it's all getting absorbed. Yeah, I'm gonna cross 60 grit on this. I mean, if that is it, that's not that bad, but like I said, the finishing work tomorrow is where it's really gonna show. Get you guys close up of this. Ugh. Wow, 23 minutes. So I'll probably break this up into two little videos, but that's what it looks like. Not sure if that's good or bad, but that's what it looks like. So thank you so much. Like, subscribe, follow the build on this. Well, it's gonna be a jet boat. Um Yeah. Post any comments, any leads, any suggestions you have, because like I said, I've never done this before. And, uh... Sunday, I'm actually thinking about casting the bottom of this boat and making another boat, but making it double wide and double long, four-seater, putting two jets out the back of it, um... Just getting crazy. So, thanks for watching. And uh, like, subscribe, follow, and comment. Talk to you soon.